Let's have a look at some of the different ways we can set up our workspace. Here you can see I'm focusing on the chart, but I'm also interested in details of the records. So I've got my record inspector docked on the right. I may from time to time want to manually create records on the chart. When I do that, I'm just going to hover over insert from palette and that reveals the palette so that I can quickly create a person and then forget about the palette. I just don't want it there all the time taking up space. If I wanted to make it more available, I could pin it like that so that it's always sitting there just like the record inspector is. But as I say, I don't need it that much. So if I hit the pin, then it tucks away and I can forget about it until I need it next time. So that's true of the record inspector, but it's true of a lot of other features as well. Let's have a look at quick search. It may be that I'm running multiple searches for vehicles. Now vehicles tend to have quite strong ID. If I've got the license plate and I can search on that, then I'll tend to get very few results and be very confident that there's something that I'm interested in. On those occasions, I'm not going to need to apply any filters. I'm just going to select the record and copy it to the chart. And then I can enter my next registration and continue. Of course, I do have access to the filters. If I wanted to filter by a specific type, I can always do that. I can see if I'm getting any charts in my results. Everything that's available in Quick Search is available when the Quick Search is docked in a slim orientation like this. Now, if I wanted to do a more involved search where I need a better view of the results and easy access to the filters, maybe I'd undock it and increase the width like this. But for now, I'm just going to leave it there and leave it slim so that I can focus on my chart. Now that I've got this vehicle on the chart, it may be that external searches gives me more insight. Again, that can be opened up in this slim view. And again, I can undock it and increase the width to get a slightly more in-depth view. I'm working with one monitor here, but I could easily drag that onto another monitor and just leave it sitting there. It's not modal, so I don't have to finish my interaction with it before going back to the chart. I'm going to close it for now. Of course, the other search tool we have access to is Visual Query. Visual Query actually needs a bit more space to make the UI work elegantly. So it doesn't have a slim view. The slimmest we can go is like that. And it can't be docked, but it can be dragged onto another monitor. And again, it's not modal, so it can just sit there until you need it without interrupting your interaction with the chart. There are lots of other things which sit in panes. For example, uh, we could pull up a bar chart and histogram or activity view. Any of these things can be docked for easy continual use, or they can be undocked and uh, therefore kind of take over the screen when you're using them and then be dismissed. It really is up to what you're working on and how you prefer to work. Now I mentioned the situation where we're dealing with lots of vehicle registrations. Sometimes people ask, how can they run a search for multiple registrations in one go? Now that is possible using quick search. You can put parentheses around each term and enter a series of terms, which will then be ORed. It's a little bit laborious. Here's a trick that I would use, and it's taking advantage of the list feature in Visual Query. So let's create a new query that looks for vehicles. And we're interested in license plates. Perhaps somebody has emailed us a long list of plates to look up. Again, we could enter them manually into the field, but we can use this list feature to either import the text file or to simply paste in a series of values, each one on a new line, so that when we run the query, it's looking for that plate or this one or this one. And you can see a quick preview of the list there. So when I run the query, it's looking for any of those. And here we found 10 matches. So that's how you can orient your workspace. And there's a little trick for running a search for multiple license plates too.